Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I will give you some information about materials, textures, and shader notes in Blender in order to create procedural materials and use images or textures to create your own material. Materials and, and textures add color and define surfaces of objects. The application of materials and textures in Blender utilizes a graphical display called a node system, which represents the computer code generating the effect of material and texture. In computer graphics, how the surface of an object displays is determined by three factors, material, texture, and lighting. What is a material? A material base color of the surface Texture, the physical characteristics of the surface, and lighting is the background illumination or light emitting from lights or lamps. For example, in our tutorial, if you want to make material for this cube, just you're gonna be uh, searching for color picker circle. You should go over material properties over there or world properties. Go over here, over this material property is going to be showing this panel for material. As shown in our example, we have here uh, shader node which is bsdf principle bsdf use it to create your own material so for example i want to show you something very interesting in practice material is uh, selected in a color picker circle go over here click on uh, this base color it's gonna be showing this color picker circle It's gonna be showing this color picker circle. This is called a brightness slider. When you try to make it much more, much more black, just go over here in order to set your render engine to cycles. I'm gonna be using cycles in order to get realistic uh, results. So just click on this uh, color picker circle and you can change it to blue or any color you want. Just here you should uh, switch to rendered view shown in our example. Click on it, it's gonna be showing it to rendered view. Here we have lighting and also the camera. Later I will be talking about it with more details. And here we have the RGB, HSV and hex colors. Three color schemes as shown here. In our example, can change in between them. If you want RGB, HSV, HSV or hexa, hex color is gonna be, you can retype your uh, your code over there and you get hex triplet for your color also we have the alpha over here we have the alpha which is transparency it's gonna be changing the scope and the changing the transparency click the left mouse button to select material if you want for example you can change the color, any color you want, for example the green color. Materials can be displayed in accordance with the three color schemes RGB, RGB, HSV or HEX. How the color appears in each scheme is also dependent of an alpha value 
which is the amount of transparency the material is given and the brightness also you can change brightness by clicking over there and make it much more black much darker the color picker circle is typical and is axis accesses from a variety of locations in the interface now let's define what is texture texture defines the physical appearance of surface such as how lumpy or bumpy it appears or its patternation which visually defines the perception of the physical makeup of the object this definition determines what you perceive the surface to be wood brick or water textures are generated by computer code built into blender procedure textures or from images saved on the computer image textures now let's talk about notes or shader notes notes are graphical representations as shown in our example of blocks of computer data which instructs the computer how to display materials and texture in blender nodes data block are arranged in chain or pipeline to produce effects in the case of materials and texture the arrangement of of nodes creates the visual effect of an object surface appearance and here we have a principled psdf is represented as shown in our example over there and connected to output to material output like geometry notes 